Hey guys, Coach Amelia Adair here. Welcome back to my channel. Yes, Soul Family, I hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing good. I am going to, I wanted to share this with y'all because fruit, okay? I love some fresh fruit and it's a rinse and ready to give. And I wanted to share this with you guys today because Oh, who don't love fruit? And I'm going to be zipping it in my little, I got a little yogurt that I zip it in. So we're going to have lunch today and we're going to do makeup, okay? We're going to do a little bit of everything today. But I wanted to start off by showing y'all this fruit roll. So we got like strawberries, berries, you know, grapes and all that good stuff. And this is just a Greek uh, orange and cream yogurt. Um, so I wanted to start today, you know, with a little lunch and brunch because guys, the topic, you know, that I'm going to be talking about while I'm doing my makeup is, you know, what's, a, what do you do when you feel in blue? Okay. I said, what do you do when you feel in blue? So for me guys, like if I'm really just, you know, down, Let me tell y'all, pause this and go get you a fruit. Because that first bite, the yogurt, when I'm feeling blue, y'all, and I'm, I don't know, so, well, we're going to get into it, but when I'm feeling blue, I go get some fruit um, or something healthy or something that I love to eat. Try to really tend to something healthy because it's more nutritious for your body. So it's like it wakes it wakes you up in a, in a different way. And this is like who don't love who don't love fresh fruit. So believe it or not, sometimes you may not even be feeling down. Your body could just be low in energy, and so fruit will lift you up naturally. And have you feeling like, yes. And honestly, um, not that I'm feeling blue, like sad, sad, but I can't say like my mood was just a little. You know, I'm 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 a I'm a, I'm a woman. We go, we just got our moods. It don't really have to make sense, but. I still rather not be in a, in a sad mood. I'd rather be in a positive mood. These grapes are so good. Let's try the strawberries. You know, I never used to really like berries. Blueberries. Let's try the berry first. But I don't know. When I started getting smoothies and I started eating them, they're actually not that bad. They kind of small. So you get a quick little flavor. But berries are really good for you guys, believe it or not. So you know you get the effects long term when you just feed yourself the right nutrition so good for your skin good for your nails i'll be looking at my nails like guys i promise y'all this is the longest my nails has ever been in my life and you know it's all about what you're eating and i feel like we we don't cut already cut loose through me I ain't gonna lie, this, this bowl was five dollars, but it's worth every dollar. Okay, is if you go to the drive thru and you get you a four for four, this is this is a this is the real four for four. Okay, mm. Mm. but when you get you something that's really nutritious for you, you get a better. You get like a long-term positive effect. You know what I mean? You just be walking around like. Maybe be looking at you like, oh, why is she so happy? And like when I picked out my fruit, I got excited. So then it was the first thing I picked up at the grocery store. So then when I went to look for the yogurt, right? Let me show you how this positivity thing is so great. I'm gonna stop reading. I'm gonna start doing my makeup. One minute, but I was picking out my 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 yogurt, and let me tell y'all, they got like 
50 different yogurts. And I don't buy yogurt like that. You know what I mean? I didn't know what was going on. And so the guy was there. He was he was uh packing it up. He was unpacking the yogurt. And the first thing that came out of his mouth was like, he was like, God, this is so good. He was like, I think I'm here, but my mind is not here. I'd rather be on the beach. And I was just like, you know what I mean? Co- coach done kicked in. I'm just saying, I'm like, well, you know, you should get your, I said, have you had some fruit today? And he looked at me and he was like, I love fruit, but I don't eat it as much as I should. I said, I uncovered you. Just eat some fruit today so you can start to feel better. I was like, because I, I was feeling a little down and a little bug told me to go get some fruit. And here I am getting some fruit. And I feel better with just, with it just in my cart. But it's sitting in my cart, y'all. I felt better. I was just like, I'm about to eat some fruit. It's healthy. It's naturally sweet. So, I'm like, Let's get to this makeup look, because I told y'all, I promised y'all, I'm going to show y'all um, what I did differently about my makeup that I'm so in love with. And then, guys, this is for my ladies, okay? So, okay. Right. Oh, move that down. That's so good. Do a big scoop. Bam. Uh, that group, that group, that grape had a lot of juice. Woo! All right, I'm gonna put this in now. Oh, I'm gonna put it right on this thing right here. I'm gonna go like this. I got a little fruit holder. Damn, put my whole yogurt All right, so. Guys, let's start with these eyebrows, right? All right. My hands look good. So, okay. I do that a lot because I used to have braces. I like clean my teeth a lot. It's like a bad habit, but it feels good. Like, I don't like nothing on my teeth. Okay. All right, guys. Let's start with these brows. So, let me tell y'all. So I was going to get a, I was going to go to Ulta because I like Ulta, but I should have went to Sephora. I'm going to probably end up going to Sephora because I got a new concealer and I used to use this concealer before too, but I think they gave me a light color and I think it's too light. And so I'm mixing it a little bit, but I'm going to take it back because we'll get to that. But guys, now I'm not saying this is going to work for everybody. Okay. But this eyebrow pencil is excuse me it's from the beauty supply store it's by nick nick Ack, okay and it's in the darkest it's in dark brown is it dark brown yep yeah, right here dark brown they got one darker than this but i love it because even though it says dark brown because it's you know this is not this is a this is a beauty supply store brand you know what I'm saying it's it's a cheaper brand okay no sugar coat it's a cheap brand I think it's like two dollars for this and because it's so let me sharpen it because it's so um you know because it's not so expensive when I do apply it y'all gonna see it's the perfect shade you know what I mean it's not too dark it's not too light. It gives me nice strokes. So, and it's just a regular eyebrow, you know, back in the day pencil. So I'm about to show you, I'm about to sharpen it. Cause it, it got, it do has to be pointy. I think like it works better when it's pointy. So let me sharpen it. There you go. Bam. So let me put these shavings on this. That's one thing I hate about pencils though, like sharpening them are a little a little messy but um you can actually is even though like you're not supposed to wash metal i guess i, I don't but i soak my sharpener i sure do I, I soak it in some water and um a little um makeup remover and it'd be, it be good and guys i waxed my eyebrows myself and 
So when you do this, you want to just make sure your eyebrows are already, you know, shaped, you know? And when I wax my eyebrows, I don't, you know, I, I, I leave a little bit here because I don't really have that much eyebrow, but I don't know. I feel like th they look formed and shaped and shaped. So let me show y'all. Show y'all this, this trick. Okay. So you lift it. So remember how with the pomade, I was like, start here because it's so dark. So because this is not that dark, you could kind of draw your, you could shape out your brow. I remember to lift it. I like to lift it because it gives me a full arch. And then you want to do a arc, you know, like a C shape right here. Bam. Connect it. And then you want to kind of do strokes. You know what I mean? You want to do like feather strokes. So then I'll do that. It's a little gap right there. I know you see that gap. Look at that, y'all. Wasn't that like one, two, three? You see the difference? And this is without the concealer. So, and I and I wore my eyebrows all day. And I got another trick that I'm going to show you that I do. But, and I got this trick from, um, I don't know who I was watching. All right, so when I get to the arch, you always want to lift it up. You know what I mean? I don't know why I be holding my breath. <laughs> mm -mm. Stroke. 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 Change back. So guys, let's talk about why I, I was feeling blue. I know exactly why I was feeling blue. Because remember I told you about the trick um, where the first eight minutes of your day sets your day. And I didn't do my morning affirmations like I usually do. Maybe because it's the weekend. But I was just like trying to do it. And I'm like, I missed it. Or maybe it's been too, I don't know. But I felt like my, like I wasn't feeling sad, like, ugh. But I wasn't feeling like, like the day before, like day four, like I had a great lot of energy. So then, you know, I'm just like, let me just get back in balance. You know what I mean? So I went for, my, for a walk outside. So I haven't been walking outside because I've been going to the gym. So, you know, you always want to just be mindful of your, of your mood. And it's all mental, guys. So you can change your mood. But you just have to know when you have to be aware when your mood is down, you know. This uh, this is always my struggle brow. That's what I call it. Like it's never as perfect as this one. But when I put the concealer on it, it's gonna it's gonna do it's gonna do what it needs to do. Boo. Do what I need to do. So now I know about the fruit trick. I'm be, I'm be playing around, getting my mood right. All right, y'all. So, oh, so this little next trick is this little edge booster. So remember how I was using the uh, the eyelash glue. Not that that's a bad one. That's still a good one, too. But this, I felt like... So, I just put a little on the brush right there. This, I felt like not a lot because you don't want it to look greasy. But I just felt like... It was workable. 
if that makes sense. You know, like, it wasn't so, like, the the glue is good, but sometimes it could be, like, you better make sure you, you your, sh your brows is in shape because you can't go back in. With this, I could kind of go back in, which is good. Now y'all see that difference? It makes a difference, y'all. Put some gel on them brows. It keeps them in control and not out of control. And then make sure you wipe off the brush because you don't want to build up on your brush. It need, it, the bristles need to be bristles, so I'll wipe it off when I'm done. Okay. So now let's do some concealer. I still do my... Matte concealer. Zoom on that. You know the brown mat. So lift it. Another thing too, guys, um, about your mood. Sometimes our mood is off, you know, like off balance. Because we put too much energy into something that we're not supposed to, like social media. So try not to get too caught up. Like, I, I can't stress that enough. Social media is amazing. You know what I mean? It's funny. It's it's so much there's so much knowledge on there there's so much out there you know but you still want to take time to take a break take time for you and do what you got to do okay let's and some of us we we're horrible you know like we'll go from app to app We'll get off Instagram, we'll go on YouTube. We get off YouTube, we go on TikTok. We get off TikTok, we go on, you know, Facebook. We get off Facebook. It's like we just alternate apps all day. Be mindful of the social media drainage. You know, social media could drain you. I'm going in with the dark. Remember I told y'all this is workable? Because I went too high up with the arch in this area. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then feather in here. You don't want this inner part to be thick. Yeah, social media will drain you boo okay because you be sitting there first of all it, it'll confuse you because which hazel because if you got goals that you're working on and maybe you inspired by someone or something you know you spend too much time on social media it'll confuse your goals you know like you'll start thinking you need this and you need that and you need this and you need that and you don't need none of that Straight like that, like you don't, you don't, you don't need it. And then it can cause you to be impulsive because you see something, you see how good it looks on someone, you see the the likes or the views that they get, and then that's what causes the impulse. Is like the desire to be liked, you know, be liked and be followed and stuff like that. And that desire will make you do something impulsive to get that. You know what I mean? Like go buy 
um, a bag, go buy some shoes, go buy, you know, something that you really don't, it's not you. You know, it starts messing with who you are. So you don't want to start, you know, you don't want to be a um, a chameleon. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want to start shifting who you are to get what you're trying to get. You know, you want to get what you want to get, but you always want to stay true to who you are, baby. You always want to be... You always want to be original. You know what this reminded me of? Oh, my God, y'all. That video, it was a couple of them. I seen a couple of people do it. But they be, they was like teachers on break, right? And they be like the Yo, I was in tears. They be like, hold on. Huh? Arnold, Alonzo Arnold. Oh my gosh. Tears, guys, real tears. Like that is how teachers be. That's all just reminded me. Like, oh my god. But still, you know what I'm saying? You want to have your fun for social media where you go and you laugh, like I like I do. I have my little people that I watch and I laugh. But then I step back and I don't get so absorbed thinking like, okay, let me see what they doing. Let me see what they doing. Let me go. No, you know you want to be original. You want to do you. You get what I mean? Like, you. Like, do you. <laughs> do you. Okay? Do you hear it? You. Don't do them. And, and then say it's you. No, do you. Do what you like to do. Do you. I can't say that enough. Like, sometimes we be like, I'm doing me, and I'm saying, and you sitting there copying and you're not being original. It's okay to get inspiration. Okay? Some of us, don't get it confused. We can be inspired by so much. You know? So many different things. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with being inspired, baby. But be inspired. Um, don't be a copycat. Don't go... Because, understand, guys. When you start being... When you just start copying what someone else is doing, you know, you're never going to, like, reach your higher self. It's like you're, 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 you're doing it good, don't get me wrong, but you still want to, oh, when, when something is for you, it feels different, you know? It's like, it's like when, if you in a race, right? Well, not that anything is a race, but just say you in a race. And you uh, like a like a track race. We've all had races back in our time, right? And we run in and we win first place. And we and you shout, you win like, "Ooh, I won!" You won. You ran. You used your two feet and you used your breath and you won and you won first place. And it feels good. It feels like, wow! Can't nobody take this shine. You know, y'all want to put that red under that eye, baby. So, you know, you always in a in a in a competition with yourself. I, I feel like I'm always competing with myself. I'm always looking at what I did, and I try to see how I could do it better. You know, like okay, how can I do it? even even this makeup look? I'm giving you an updated makeup look because I, I looked at it and I'm like, okay, how can I do it better? What can I what can I alter to just look better? Now I look more mad it on but just look look better you know you want to have your eyebrows better shaped you know you want to have your skin better glow and it's gonna just it's gonna enlighten your appearance it's still you you know what I mean like I'm not gonna go try to get you know my nose altered so I can look more you get what I'm saying no that's not gonna be me if I if I go in and alter my nose for a look, then I'm not being me. If I go get, you know, um, those fake teeth that everybody get, I'm not being me. I'm, I'm being, I'm being her. She got fake teeth. 
You know what I'm saying? Who's that? We don't know who that is. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I mean by being original. And even as y'all see, I, I, I've kept this hairstyle. I love it. I feel like it's me. This is my hair. This is my texture. Yes, I changed the color. Okay. But why not? Blondes have more fun. <laughs> Let me stop. But I like it. I feel like it's more it's more brighter. It's more lighter. It's more me. The dark is nice, but I feel like, I don't know. The blonde feels like more me. I like color, you know? Like. All right, guys. Yes, you want to put that red, honey. And, and if you remember, if you like skin, if you like skin, it's yellow. I think I can show you the yellow. The yellow come in here. See, it's like a yellow like this. You see this yellow? That's for light, lighter, lighter tones. Like if you like, you know, fair skin. Trust me. Trust me, it works. So I'm just blending out any harsh lines. Blending out that red. So y'all saw I put moisturizer and then I put the primer. And then this is um, a different primer. It's not as strong. So I'm putting a little on my forehead. I think I got like a chemical peel right here because it's a little crusty. I don't know what I use. And I don't put this on my chin because my chin be dry. But I put it over here on my cheek. Like I look combination. I literally have combination skin where some parts are dry, some parts are oily. So that's combination. So I use instead of buying like combination products, I just use what I need to use in certain areas. So here I'm gonna use moisturizer. Here I'm gonna make sure I dry this out because my nose be like leaking. You know what I mean? Like you be like this. Excuse me. Okay, so guys, I went and bought Born This Way Concealer. I like this concealer more than I like the Juvis Place. I was using the Juvis Place because I bought it, and I was just like, well, I bought it. And I should have returned it. I should have, but I really hate going back and returning things sometimes. Like, with makeup, I just be like, it's already here. I already have it. Because when I go in the makeup store, I always buy something else. So that's why I just be, like, not trying to go up in there. But I've used this Born This Way Concealer before, and I'm telling y'all, like, the formula is good so this color i have is warm sand but it's definitely too light so um we're gonna mix it with the um juvis place foundation that i have and then with the moisturizer too to thin out because i don't want it to be so thick so first we're gonna start with the foundation this is the foundation this is my color um what color is it malawi 230 um, so again, I'm telling y'all, and remember this has SPF in it, so when I go out in the sun, my skin gets toasted, not burnt. Okay, and then I mix it up real good like that. See how it becomes like more liquidy, not so matte, because it's really matte. It's really thick. You know, I can't be walking around with a thick layer of foundation on. It just look too cakey. You know, I'll be looking like, I don't like to look, like, I already have a, a, like a, you know, a low cut. And I feel like the blonde makes it more feminine. Um, So I don't want to have strong makeup. You know what I mean? Like, when you have short hair, you really got to do light makeup. Like, it's a rule. <laughs> and I like it because I feel like, you know, I could be more me. Yeah, that me. All right, so just dive on. And remember, a uh, wet beauty blender. Feels so good. Right here, guys. Being original is like. Sitting down and seeing what you're good at and then kind of putting your twist on it. You know, you want to always put your own little 
create, be creative, you know, like put the phones down, tone, tone out the noise and just sit with you and see like, and sometimes you can't, some, some people could sit and be creative or some people do. Like if I start cleaning up, that's when I be thinking of the most creative stuff when I'm cleaning it, believe it or not. I'll be like, all right. And then what I do as soon as I think of it, I write it down in, a, in my little, I have a, a book like this that I told y'all I carry around. I write it down. And as I think of stuff, cross it off the list, cross it off the list, cross it off the list. So that's how you got to start being creative. Start by putting on some low music. Because if you're singing aloud along to the music, you're not going to really be thinking. You're going to be singing. But put the music on low and just pay attention to the ideas that come in your head. Some of us, we, I don't know, like we'll, we'll have a great idea. And then where we go wrong is, I'm putting a concealer on this because I'm going to make it darker. Um, where we go wrong is when we think of that great idea, then a negative bug will come whisper in your ear or try to convince you like, oh, that's dumb. You want to never, almost never listen to that bug. The worst thing you can do as a creative person is think of something so funny, unique, you know, and then you start comparing it to um, maybe someone else and then you convince yourself that like it wasn't a good idea. That is the worst thing you could do. So I mixed the concealer because it was really light. And I told you, I don't like it to look really light under my eyes. See how it looks like my skin? It don't look like, you know, I think it looks like, a, I, I call it the lion look. Like, I don't want to look like a lion. But yeah, tr trust it out, guys. This weekend, give it like two tries too. Sometime on the first go, it's it's not gonna be, it's not gonna come to you so easy. But give it a go. Put a, chill out. Create your own zone. You always put it on top. Create your own zone. And keep a pen and a, and a paper handy. And see what you come. And don't think too hard. Literally don't think too hard. Like if you think too hard, it's not it's not really gonna work, but just be be calm. Light a light a candle, light an incense. You know, you wanna have the aroma fresh. Put on some nice, you know, maybe even an instrumental sound. Something calming. Something that's not gonna trigger some thoughts, you know what I mean? And, and notice y'all, I'm letting this concealer like sit a little bit. Um, but put on something calm and just clean up. Fold laundry, wash dishes, you know what I mean? Get, get a nice aroma going and just watch how your mind will start to just excuse me, it'll go into like a peaceful zone. And then you'll be sitting there and the idea will just come to you. Boom. Then you get an idea. Then write it down. Okay? It'll be a nosy out the window. Lost my contact lens. Then write it down. Right away. My powder. Ooh. Ooh. Again. And you want to write it down because, believe it or not, our memory is good, but our memory ain't great. And we'll forget what it is. Definitely if you be having a lot on your mind. Like if you're someone who always just thinking. I'm 
it's also out of this bag. Oh, and there's a born this way um powder. That's the, they're the same brand as the conceal. And I've had this for a little while. Oh, that's because I'll be mixing it too. Mm. So then what you want to do is take your booty blender. Let it, I do let it sit for a minute. I, I, I put extra product on my nose once I blend. I don't put it directly on my nose because I told you I, I got oily nose. So you want to put the least amount of product as possible. Now you see how that's like a very uh, see that's something like i might not return it because i like how it looks blended like i feel like it's my unique color when i when i be mixing and doing all that like i feel like the color looks more natural like more like my natural color like i feel like if you try to buy the perfect shade i feel like i don't know Depending on your shade, is it can be hard to get your perfect shade. And sometimes mixing it, it stretch it, it'll stretch out your product. Believe it or not. Sorry, I know that powder. It be getting in my nose. So then I use whatever's left over on a beauty blender and I go down and get the rest. I don't like go and get more product. Like I don't be putting a whole lot cause it just be too much. I think it be too much. And that's how you be looking like, you know, like it just looks too fake. I don't want to look fake. I want to look, you know what I mean? So then, woo, this powder look good. Then guys, beauty blender. So I like the brush too, but I noticed that when I use the beauty blender, it just looks better. And I use the same beauty blender. I'm about rubbing the foundation on my neck. Sorry. Oops. <laughs> oh, see, I use this makeup brush. That's concealer. <laughs> okay. All right. So now you want to let that sit. Let it sit. Take a big so now. I forgot I had this. I'm telling y'all. I got a lot of makeup stuff. <laughs> Juvis plays eyeshadow palette. Let me see. I may look a little crusty, but 
You see which color I like? The brown. Now, let me tell y'all. The pigment in their eyeshadow palettes, um, unmatched. Unmatched. And let me show y'all how I like this brown. Oh, that's the one I used yesterday. This brown right here, you just need to like tap it. You know how some of you gotta like go in? Now, I've had this for a little while. And I'll, I'll be putting stuff down and coming back to it. So it'll be looking like new stuff. But you just want to go in your crease with that brown. Now, they have a lot of different palettes that you could pick from. Don't go crazy because if you get one with a perfect color like shade for you, all you need is one. You don't need to be just buying stuff to buy stuff. Because <laughs> I don't even use no other color but the brown, the yellow, and the orange. Sometimes the pink, but... No, pink be looking a little, it be looking like too much. But I just go in with my crease. Both sides. You always want to start in the, in the corner and then blend it up because wherever you put the brush, you're going to have the most product. So, you don't want to have it too dark right there in that middle part. You want it to just look blended. And then you want to blend it out. And then it's like a round flat brush. This is by, my brush is about um, Morphe. This is the Jaclyn Hill collection. So my, when she first released this collection, I got the whole, the whole set. But it's all right. I'll be washing them and they, they come back to life. Um, then I go on with the orange. Oh my God, I love orange on my skin. And then I go a little above it and I blend it up. Like this orange, it just looks so... <sighs> Y'all don't understand. See how it don't really look like orange? It just looks like a bright brown. Oh, guys, I love this. Because it looked like I'm doing... It looked like I done... You know what I mean? It looked like I'm really putting in a lot of work and... It's the eyeshadow. The eyeshadow is doing the work. And you want to come in. You see what I mean? Like you want to get your whole eye. You know, our eye is not just right here. Our eye is over here, too. So you want to get that. And then um, what I do for the top, uh, this is a Fit Me powder. So, or I, this is kind of like that color in my other in my other morphe palette but it's just like a neutral and you just blend that eyeshadow line out excuse me and then come back to the palette and then i use the yellow just like this and it just blends it right up And I'm just tapping. I'm doing a tap motion. Tap, 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 tap. Hold on, Dad. Okay. All right. Now, I don't want to bake for too long. So, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in. Morphe. I use a lot of Morphe. And Ju and um, Juba's place and Mary Kay. I think those are like my go-to. I like Clinique too. Um, like when I run out, I'm gonna probably go get Clinique instead of Mary Kay. Cause Clinique is like really good on your skin for sensitive skin, and I have sensitive skin. So this is a real warm, 
I use I have warm skin. I have like golden warm skin. So I use a lot of warm golden tones. You want to know what your tone is. Um just because it helps you it helps your makeup blend better with your skin. Like when you match with your skin really good, your makeup looks more flawless. If you don't know your skin tone and you just buying stuff and it's the wrong tone, you know, when when the makeup starts to set into your skin and your skin radiates through, it's it's not gonna be a good blend. So that's why I like some people makeup it'll look ashy or it'll look, you know, because you gotta get the right tones. You gotta know if you're warm or cool. I'm warm. I'm golden. I'm like you know. Okay, so then um with my big brush, I'm gonna just pat this in and blend it all together. You see? Blend it. And then I like to use the clean beauty blender side and then just push that in. My pictures aren't exaggeratedly changed. They just look a little enhanced. I don't like exaggerated look. And I feel like that's how your makeup kind of sweats off when you just have on too much. It's like the excessive makeup comes off. So then you're going to contour the nose. Sometimes I don't like to contour my nose, but lately I have, so I'm going to just do it. I don't feel like it works. It make a little difference, but it's like my nose is my nose. It makes a difference if I'm using like an angle photo, but on video, I feel like it don't really make my nose look much smaller or and this is a little contour brush. I like this brush. Then we want to go in with the blush. And also they have this, um, I think like this app where they match your tone, but they use the app and that's how they told me I could use warm sand and I think it's a little light but mixing it it comes out good so maybe it was right and you gotta play around with it you know like see what works see what don't work this is his blush fit me I like fit me too fit me is a, is a okay like off brand brand hold on tight Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So guys, I really hope that you hear me when I'm when I be you know chatting about you know being creative and digging deeper within yourself. You know, like you really have to step back sometimes to dig deep within you you know sometimes people think like they gotta talk to people or they gotta and sometimes you can't use a therapist you know but sometimes you gotta sit back and connect connect with you connect with God and just hear you know what he want for you because sometimes we think we know what we, we we want or we think we know the way to go and a lot of times we be wasting time focusing on stuff that is just not meant for us. Like, 
You know when something is not meant for you, when you just stressed out. You know, if you stressed out more than you're not, nine times out of ten, like you gotta you gotta step back and look at what you could do to release some of that stress. Like some of us be stressed every single day. Stressed every single day trying to keep up with something again that's not meant. It's just not meant for you. Like you have to we have to be okay with knowing that, you know, it's time to try something new. It's time to switch it up because obviously the things that you've been doing, you know, if you're still really stressed, then whatever you've been doing is just not working. Like, all right, this ain't working. You know what I mean? It's like trying to get the foundation to just blend, but it's just not your color. Then you gotta be like, all right. That's when you gotta just be like, all right, this this foundation ain't working. I'm going to just go get me a new foundation. And then when you put on that new foundation, you're like, wow. <laughs> you're just like, wow. All I needed was a new foundation. You know what I mean? A new foundation. Ooh. I'm telling y'all that's deep. I mean that. Sometimes we just need a new foundation. A new start. A new job. New friends. Like, that's a new foundation. Because your friends are the ones that are around you. And if your friends aren't uplifting you, why are you wasting your time? If you made it to the end of this video, you about to be millionaire of a millionaire. Because that was deep, y'all. That was deep. If I need a new foundation, babe. Then when you do your makeup, it's one, two, three. I mean, obviously not your makeup. Now we speak it metaphorically, you know. But. Now you do everything with, with, with lightness, you know. Mary Kay. And this is like a sheer look. You could probably get something like this from Sephora. Like a Sephora brand. Like Sephora has their own brand of lip. And I did have a nice lip gloss that I loved. Like I used it all. But I also love this one from NYX. Now obviously it's, it's a lip filler. I obviously don't need, you know, lip fat, bigger lips. Like my lips are already like, you know, big enough. But... It just, the whatever they put in this formula, it just makes the gloss shine. Like, like my lips be looking like, they be looking like, yes. And it lasts long. And I like the tingle feel. Alright guys, here is that look. See, nice, simple. And I'm telling y'all, it always looks better off camera. Like, sometimes the light kind of washes it out. But like, if you were to really get into this look, it just looks like poreless, effortless, brows. You know what I mean? Like, I just look like, this is like an everyday go out look. Like, I'll do this if I'm going out. I'll do this if I'm you know, rushing here and there, like this is just a go-to look, okay? You can't go wrong with some nice brown shadow, little mascara, okay? And a nice lip, the lip and the brows come together, okay? And if your foundation is good, maybe they're gonna think you, you an expert. They're gonna be like, oh, you got your makeup done? You're gonna be like, yeah, by myself. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys.
Coach Amelia D here. Thank you guys for having lunch with me, doing makeup with me, getting ready with me, getting balanced with me. And I hope that my video brings you some great inspiration, some motivation. And I hope that, you know, the days get better, okay? We get more uplifted, okay? So get you some fruit. I'm about to eat me some more fruit and enjoy your day guys all right coach amelia did oh yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already all right and i'll see you guys at my next video bye for now